So the uranium of Uganda is sleeping in, in the ground. The uranium is sleeping. Yeah. No, it's wake up. <laughs> the uranium will wake up because now the power plants are here. What's up, brothers and sisters? Thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming back to watch our videos and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please, please, please subscribe so that you can push us to 10,000 subscribers who we'll celebrate together. So today we are going to watch this video of Museveni and contemplate on it because we need leaders like this. And we are thinking that Museveni has been president of Uganda for quite some time, I think for more than 30 years. And the people of Uganda have been complaining that he hasn't done a, a thing. I don't know. But his words today are wonderful. Let us listen to this video, then we comment on it. Some years ago, a Western company came and proposed to mine, to, to mine the uranium. They came here, said they want, want to mine the uranium. I asked them, mine it and take it where they said export it that was their answer i asked them export it for what purposes they told me you want to take the uranium but have you had a rumor that there are some human beings here it's not confirmed that they are there but could, could it be a rumor that there are some human beings here why don't you propose they, they, they are always coming so how do they know there is uranium in Uganda? Of course, they have the UN peacekeepers, they yeah. have the UN yeah, field it. staff. And the organizations which we don't even know exactly. what they do. You know what the UN does when they're on the ground? They'll ask the community, hey, when you're farming, what kind of, you know, you, <laughs> tell, kind you, of as, <laughs> you know what kind of soil, what kind of normal thing yeah. that you found in your farms? They always know. So these guys comes and proposes to to mine and export, like they always do, because Africa is the source of materials. But they find someone who is very, can we say categorical, mm -hmm. someone who is thinking about the future of his country. And he asked them, have you heard? Have you heard a rumor? Have you heard people here? Have you heard? Why don't you propose to build that capacity here for the benefit, for the benefit of these human beings who live in Uganda? And maybe we can put aside some quantity of uranium have addressed with my issue. I can also share with you. So he's giving them an option of come and mine. come and uh, mine <laughs> and build capacity here. Mm -hmm. You train our people, maybe you do some electricity. Then out of that, I can also, because you are doing a good job, can also give you some, as in payment. Can you pay you in uranium? You go and sell, you get because using it here in Uganda may not make a lot of money. Go and sell and make the money that you want. Nah, I think for that one, I, I disagree. Okay, I don't support. You yeah. don't support, but yeah. what he's saying eh, mm -hmm. is pay. I can, it's like the way people in Africa, you go farm, help then someone they farm, they pay you with maize yeah. or mm -hmm. millet, mm -hmm. you know. So that's what he's saying. Yeah, but I don't know. For these ones, you can't treat them as Africans. These ones, even Malema said, you cannot treat a U.S. citizen mm -hmm. or a U.S. investor as your friend. They are not your friend. But you know, you, know? you can you can see from Uganda, mm -hmm. we sell at $47. Mm -hmm. You, here, this is what we are selling. We, so we are giving that. As in, it's the same, the same as uh, selling you raw materials. But after you mm -hmm. have done what we want. Now for me, I would rather you have an agreement if you are paying each other 5,000, um, what do you call the Ugandan money? Y Ugandan shillings. Ugandan shillings, stick to that. Don't be, because these people are the ones who are mining. How much, how sure are you that during their mining, they won't steal some mm -hmm. and then add on to whatever you've okay. given them. And you know, at the end of the day, you won't be able to see if this is what you gave them or this is something they've added to themselves. So I'd rather you pay them and they live with money, not uranium, because they can be able to steal. I'll share with you so that you, you also go and solve yours. But to tell me that you solve my problems and forget yours, I, I cannot accept that. They never came back. Of course they never came back. Would you come back? Of course. It didn't make they, sense to them. Yeah, because uh, normally they want the raw materials because once they take the raw materials to their countries, mm -hmm. 
they make more maybe exactly. 100 times exactly. thousand times you know like you remember the story of iron where it was 47 in uganda mm -hmm. but who, who selling you uganda selling out but when they go out it's 47 it's 700 mm -hmm. yeah so imagine the same thing happens you have given them the uranium and if it's them they sell at a very high price but if it's you you sell to them at a very yeah. low that's price what, so that's, that's what that's what museveni is proposing mm -hmm. yeah they never came back so the uranium of Uganda is sleeping in, in the ground until we, we are ready to use it. <laughs> it's sleeping. <laughs> the uranium is sleeping until we, we decide to use it or until we are ready to use it. <laughs> sleeping! Let it rest with the ancestors. <laughs> yeah. 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 We have now agreed with the Russians and the Koreans to build two nuclear power stations for electricity of 15,600 megawatts total. Imagine, just two stations will produce 15,000 megawatts. One, 7,200 megawatts, the other one, 8,400 megawatts. Our biggest dam on the Nile is the Karuma with 640 megawatts. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's great. So they have this deal with uh, Russia and Russia South Korea, Korea. Mm -hmm. to build uh, an, a nuclear, two nuclear mm -hmm. power plants. One 7200, another one 8400. In total, it's 15600. And he's comparing this and saying, imagine, if two, just two, it's two of them is 15600. One is more than 7000 megawatts. Our biggest dam, which is Karuba, hydro hydroelectric dam in Uganda, is 640 That's megawatt. The biggest. Only. Imagine. Yeah. Now they are building something huge, which is like, even uh, ten more than times, time, ten, ten yeah, times. Ten times more than and that. And just one. The other one, more than ten times. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's amazing. There are businesses which build our economy, which infuse blood into our economy. There are those businesses which drain blood from our, our, our system to, for the benefit of the outsiders. And these are the ones Mao Zedong called the compredor. Compredor is a French word meaning agent. Agent of. <laughs> compredor. <laughs> it is even a, it's a French word. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, we, the raw materials producers, need to conduct internal struggles in our respective countries to add value to these raw, ma uh, raw materials, including coffee, so that we earn more from our sweat and create more jobs for our youth instead of dying in the Mediterranean, Mediterranean going to, to Europe. Yeah, that is brilliant because you see there's a lot of Nigerians, the Cote d'Ivorians, mm -hmm. uh, Ivorians, eh? mm -hmm. and people of West Africa crossing the Mediterranean, dying there, going to Europe to look for jobs. When, as they go to Europe, the Yakoko go to Europe as beans. Mm -hmm. Imagine they are making chocolate in those mm -hmm. countries. It means they will create a lot of jobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very true. So we need to process our coffee, our raw materials into finished products. Yeah. So what we are proposing by adding value to our raw materials will mean putting more purchasing power in the hands of, 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 of the Africans. Now, because of this hemorrhage from Africa, because of these raw materials, that's why the economy of Africa is stunted. Yeah, that's true. That is why the economy of Africa is stunted. It, we don't grow. Because imagine you're selling something uh, raw. Uh, raw. Maybe you, uh, coffee you are selling at uh, one dollar. But a cup of coffee in Europe is like twenty dollars. Doesn't make sense. Mm. So, or they they process and when they bring back, it's even more expensive. Our people cannot afford. The market is huge. Yeah, Those guys love coffee. Yeah. You so, know, even chocolates. And then we are selling our coffee, our tea, at very very low prices. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's. No, it's not, it doesn't make sense, honestly. But um, Ugandans have always said that Museveni speaks, 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 speaks. But yeah. on the ground, we I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> we, we can only congratulate, we can only celebrate, 
we are happy yay. may this not philip say but this. Uh, but uh, he talked about the russians and south korea doing something on the ground yeah yeah probably people from uganda you can tell us is this uh, has this project of mm-hmm. building two nuclear pop plants kicked off yeah and also um, on the re- uranium hopefully it won't sleep for the rest of our lives hopefully we will get somebody who will you know be able to if they they if they mm-hmm. have started uh, developing or constructing this power plant mm-hmm. immediately they finish they use the uranium is that the uranium is sleeping yeah. now it will wake up <laughs> the uranium will wake up because now the power plants are here it will wake up with our ancestors yeah. we so can't wait to see yeah. that happening mm-hmm. So guys, let us know what you think in the comment section. We cannot wait to see you in the next one. I see you have subscribed. See you. Bye-bye.